Have you ever wanted to have your own bell bottoms or flared jeans and you have a couple of straight leg jeans in the house? Well, you can make some yourself. I got this fashion over jeans some time ago and now I'm going to be transforming it to a flare or bell bottom jeans like some people call it. And if you'd like to see how I did this, stay tuned. So here we have the jeans we're going to be working with. I have it laid down on the table in order for me to have a good view and be able to mark out the landmarks where I want my bell bottoms to start from. This is going to be the supplementary jeans that I'm going to be adding at the sides to give that flare look. I really love these jeans and I've been using it for a while. But the reason why I'm mainly using these jeans is the fact that if you notice towards the edge of the jeans, it slants and it has like this free look already, which I would like to appear in my jeans. Right now, I'm showing you the places where I'll be using my treader to take out the thread in order for me to get the main piece I want to work with. This is what it looks like disassembled. So now you can see the design on the edge of the jean. Yeah, that is what I want to be on my flay jeans when I'm done. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you different ways you can go about making your flay jeans. So because I am making a design that I want to be really pronounced, I'm going to be putting my extra material on the sides. That's the outer side of my jeans. If you're going to be using a different color of fabric too, it would be nice to put it on the outer part of your jeans because you want it to be visible. But in a situation where you're using the exact same shade and color as your jeans, then you can put it on the inside part of your jeans so that it's not exactly noticeable that extra material was added. I measured the length of my legs from my knee down to the lateral malleolus. That's the outer side of your ankle and it gave me 17.5 with that measurement in mind i'm trying to see how i can salvage a length of material that is up to 17.5 after measuring the entire length of the back i realized that i would have to add some material from the front in order to get what i require i also measured the width of my legs that's how wide do i want my bell bottoms to be and it came to 19. Now I'm going to measure around the width that's at the bottom of my jeans in order to get that 19. After measuring, as you can see, I was able to get 11.5, about 12 there about as the width of my jeans. So now I'm going to need an extra 7.5 to it in order to get that bell bottoms effect. Now I'm measuring out the bottom at 7.5 but because we're going to be sewing the jeans on both sides you need to take out some extras as well so you can put one inch on both sides just to be safe. Since I want to get the longest length possible I'm going closest to the edge and taking out the extra material there because I want a straight long line. This was the material I was able to sequester from <laughs> my ultimate search. Then if you notice, there's a small piece by the left, right? That small piece was gotten from the front as well because the front also has a slant um, look to it. But because I needed a sharp edge to go at the top of this piece, I had to cut off that slant edge from the front and add to the bottom to give this style. Now I'm adding the front piece to this 
and i'm also going to be showing you the three different styles that are available for me to use I went with the third option which I let her modified along the line, you see. I'm just placing the bell bottoms to get a feel of how it would look and I'm doing that I noticed that what's the point of throwing away the pockets like we could do something and we could jazz up the clothes, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm trying to find the best thread to sew back on the pockets. Oh yeah, just one thing. I didn't have a jean thread on me. So pro tip, anytime you want to sew on a jean or anything that has like jean like material and you don't have a jean thread, what you should just do, double your thread and it's going to give you the thickness and the consistency of a jean thread. You're welcome. Right now, I'm just comparing the thread with that oval was already on my jean and I'm noticing that it's a little more yellow than I would like. I ended up using blue instead. Now I'm doing the final assemble to sew the bell bottoms to the jeans. Guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm trying out the jeans here and I'm liking what I'm saying but there is a but the small parts there in the front that keeps going under my slippers was just not it for me so I decided to get some pins and take it on that just to get a feel of how it will look without that yeah this is more like it but just a little bit of off 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 yeah we're going to take that bottom piece and attach it to the side there just at the point where they're joined together guys don't be afraid to make mistakes because you don't know one mistake could be the inspiration for a new style please like and subscribe i know you've been enjoying this tutorial thus far just that little button down there yeah thank you now i'm comparing both designs to see which one i like better the extra flare on the left and the normal one on the right tell me which one you like better in the comment section there you have it the final sewing and we're done <laughs> oh my gosh my back <laughs> My back is killing me you were yeah it was worth it it was worth it so guys give me your honest opinion about this bell bottom jeans like let me know what you think in the comment section i didn't want the bell bottoms to be dramatic and for my first time using a sewing machine to sew i would say i did excellent photo shoot pose 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 photo shoot pose Pause, pause, photo shoot, pause, pause. Click to view. Keep watching.